Yo, what is going on guys? It's Vapor here, and today I have another CSGO video for you guys. And today I will be addressing the glitch or bug, or I don't even know what it is, but it's some kind of like, uh, probably a glitch maybe. Uh, Valve might not uh, fix it, but you know, they might have added on purpose. But what it is, is, um, so if you are in the latest update, if you jumped up and you crouched in the mid air, it should looks like this the animation is a little weird as you can see and yeah and i'm gonna go in third person show you guys what it looks like if you jump from a regular jump and a jump and then crouch in midair so a regular jump is like this as you can see my head isn't going that high and now i want you guys to look at the head of my guy and see how far his head is going up with a jump uh, i'm gonna jump and i'm gonna do crouch in midair, and it should look like this. And you see my head, my, my guy's head is going way higher than it than regular jump. So uh, this, I think, is a um, this will since since this is happening, it's like a double jump pretty much. So you can get like over here on this box. No normally, you would need a boost up here, but now since of the uh, update, you don't need a boost. And guy got to use go in this wall, and then. While you're running up here, jump and then crouch two times while um, holding your W key forward, and you should be able to get up, get up here without any problems. And I'm gonna try to attempt it here. And I can see that was the jump right here, pretty much. And then now you pretty much have a up here without getting, getting a boot. But yeah, guys, I think this is a little OP. But not only that, can you do that jump? And there's so many other spots that you could do all these jumps without like uh, getting a boost and like all the spots that you get boosted up like now you can pretty much do them without getting a boost from another person another spot is over here near these two ct boxes uh, and right now you don't even need to like really get a boost over here you would normally need a boost but like you can just get up to the wall right here and like that and you pretty much just go up and then you can pretty much if you can get around the corner oh, I jumped down an accident like this and then you pretty much get anybody that's going mid to B if you know they're going mid to B and they throw the smoke like right there and if you get into this corner you basically just jump here and then once they cross you can just get anybody that coming that side like up to window and it's like so useful like you know, the smoke should be like right here and like you can do the same thing with this box nearly anyway once the smoke fades so it should look like that like this and so you guys pretty much just get it like this and like if I throw that smoke down there again you pretty much have the advantage nearly you just go around here pretty much get everybody that's coming and they also have another thing if you're if you're going to mid to B and you go like around here into this box, you should do the same jump. Like, like this. Okay, yeah, like this. And you pretty much get anybody that's crossing to C T if you do a, like a mid to B smoke and they're rotating. You can pretty much get anybody that come to C T. And that's one thing that's a little overpowered. And not only that, but this right here. There's if you there's like this really pin thing right now, if you guys go to the window right here, and you see this little brick that's coming out of the broken wall, if you go straight into it, you won't go left or right, and pretty much what you do now is you do that jump again, and you pretty much get on top of here, on top of the brick, and if I go into third person, I show you what it looks like, like, this is what it looks like, you're freaking on top of this bricks, or stone, and this is like really good if you're holding from like B, and like, uh, B, because whenever they come out of the tunnel, you just like kill them all. And if you need to retreat, you just go down here and then pretty much just wait for them to cross and stuff. So like that's pretty overpowered. Pretty jump from like that and then just go like that. But yeah, another jump is from this jump right here. Normally you would need to jump from here and straight jump to over. Now you just need to do the two jump things that I showed you guys. Pretty much here's another spot right here on the box that you can jump on. And over here you can do the same thing on this side. But yeah, what else can you? Oh yeah, you can do this side too, right here. Instead of jumping to car and then jumping over here and straight jumping, and after I get on top of the box, 
you're gonna do the same thing over here. Just stretch up here and just do it again. Pretty much just get on top of here without them hearing you. Like since whenever you do that jump, people have tons can hear you jump from the car to this box. But if, but if you guys do the like the double jump to get up here and up there, you pretty much pretty much have to hit the shift. And once you do, they uh, won't hear you. People in tons won't hear you if they're coming out or anything. So yeah, that's like another pretty awesome spot. Other than that, guys, there's a lot more spots you can discover by yourself. Like, I mean, over here, there's another one right here. I'll show you guys. But, um, uh, over here, you need a boost or something. But you pretty much need this. And then, pretty much just pick people that are coming down mid or anything. And it's like, it's so easy to do all these jumps now. And people will probably be like, oh, you're such a little bitch for using this, for using the glitch jump. But, like, to your advantage while you're at it. So, yeah. The same thing can apply on B, like, if you're a uh, holding B by yourself, this is also a really good tactic, where you just, um, like this jump with the ninja spot, you can just do it by yourself now, by just doing the double jump, as I showed you guys, here, if I could get it to work, like that, and just use the double jump to get up here, you don't need a boost, and you pretty much just kill people that are planting here, or like, around here, and like, this spot is not, I mean, it's not OP, but, like, it's a pretty good spot if you can do it by yourself. And if you're holding it by yourself, it's even better for you because, like, you can just get everybody that passing through B. Another spot that I wanted to show you guys was for Firebox. And if you're, like, a counter-terrorist and they plant the bomb and you know somebody's at C or Firebox, then they plant the bomb up right there. And there's a guy at Firebox. You can just do the double jump around this and just go on top of this and shoot them. Like, they can do the same thing to you, like, if they know somebody's CT or something, they just do double jump and just peek you, kill you. But one thing that I really think that is overpowered is this jump right here into Sniper's Nest. Right here, this jump, this block into this stone or whatever the hell it is, you can pretty much, if you're a terrorist, you can pretty much just go from underpass to here. And then you can just jump on one of these, and then there you are, you're already in Sniper's without a boost or anything. And that's something I think that's a little overpowered. Because, like, this is just way too easy to get a kill. Like, if you know there's nobody here, you have a, you send a guy mid. You see there's nobody in palace. You go underpass, and you go over here, and you do the jump. And you just get in snipers, and you can pretty much do a flank on them. Like, that's also, like, a really, really, like, overpower jump right there. And that, I think, Valk might probably will patch it. Just because it's too easy to get into sniper's nest. But the other thing about um, Cypher's Nest is that over here, whenever you have to, you want to jump to ladder room. And uh, most of the time, you got to jump over here and do the jump into this. But uh, I'm going to do it right now because I suck at it. But now you just do the double jump into the stones like this. And there you are. You're ready into uh, ladder. And yeah, see, that's like a really easy jump that you can make. But yeah, guys, now I'm gonna be showing you guys some jumps that are on cash. The first jump is this jump right here. And remember, before the patch, or before the update, that's what I'm gonna say, you can't jump over this box. But now you can, since of the update. Like that, and pretty much, now you gotta, like, now you can just go in big red without... Uh, having to go up the ladder and anything, you pretty much just have to jump on this box, and you pretty much just made it. And then, uh, the next jump is, let's see, it's this jump right here. Like, sometimes you can't get up here, but now it's super easy to get up. You pretty much just do that double jump, and you're pretty much up. And like, I know on like 64 tick, it's really hard and like competitive. Sometimes you can't get this jump really easily, but now it's like so easily. That you can do it so easily and you pretty much just gotta do the jump like i told you guys like that and like now you can just like throw a smoke okay that, that's a fail you throw a smoke there you run around and you get on top of this and then you do the jump 
and you pretty much have now a line of sight of all the people that are there. That's also like a really common spot that people go, but you're gonna be there really fast because of that uh, boost that I told you guys to double jump. The next jump is to get on the other big grid right here, this big grid box. And normally you would have you just have to stand these uh, spools and have people boost you like this, and then you just be around the uh, big red box like this, and like nobody will need to boost you, and that's also a really easy thing to do. But yeah, guys, this will end off the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video and also learn something new, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe if you're new. And yeah, also comment below what you think about this new update or this double jump is, like how you like it. Like, do you like it or do you hate it? But yeah, guys, I think I like it. I kind of like it because it's, it, it's like a more surprise. Like, whenever you're in, like, gunfights or some, people will be more of a surprise to you than anything else. But yeah, guys, I have a feeling that Valve might fix this. But, you know, right now, might as well just use it to your advantage if you're in. Like, uh, if you're... Oh my gosh, guys. I just found another spot. What the fuck? Okay, I just found another spot, guys. Holy shit. This is a sick spot. Holy crap, guys. Okay. Instead of ending the video, I just found another spot. This is a cool spot. Okay, you can use that spot. There's another spot right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe I just found that during the end of the video. But I was saying that uh, I feel that Valve might fix this, but might as well use it to your advantage for now. And yeah, if Valve doesn't fix it, you probably know all the spots. I'm not going to go over where all the jumps are, just because I want you guys to find out, like, um, for other maps. Try on AR, and yeah, I also want you guys to find out on your own. And if you uh, want to post it on this video, post it in the comment section saying like where the jump is so like everybody that watches this video will know. But yeah guys, um, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But yeah, till next time guys, I'm out. Peace. I took a pill in Ibiza to show a Fiji I was cool. And when I finally got sober, felt 10 years older, but fuck it, it was something to do. I'm living out in L.A. I drive a sports car just to prove I'm a real big baller cause I made a million dollars and I spend it on girls and shoes